So at this point we've installed SharePoint and PowerPivot and we have a operational SharePoint site that has a default site collection that we could start using with PowerPivot at this point. But we're going to add some more software and that's going to be the reporting services integrated mode. It's not possible to add this at the same time that you use the PowerPivot installation wizard. So we actually have to run the SQL install again in order to add the reporting services instance. So we'll run through the wizard again and again we'll just go through the process until we get to the branch to select what kind of installation we want to do. Here's where we need to make a decision. We could add to the PowerPivot instance, but I'm not going to do that because I really don't want my reporting services integrated mode instance to be called PowerPivot. I think that would be confusing. So I'm going to just go ahead and select the new installation option. And this again will prompt me to put in my product here, specify an addition. I'll say evaluation. Accept terms. This time I will not select the Power Pivot for SharePoint. I'll use the SQL Server feature installation. And for reporting services, I need to choose minimally these two items. So the reporting services SharePoint and the add-in for the product. So the reporting services SharePoint is the reporting services instance itself. So that's the reporting services server side, if you will. And the next one is the add-in for SharePoint products. That's the basically the web parts that run on the web front end. So if you neglect to click this box, you will end up with reporting services installed, but it won't render. And you might find that confusing. I certainly would. So make sure you select both of these. And for this instance, which is going to be my default instance of SQL Server 2012, those are the only options that I'm going to pick. And next on disk space, Install only is the only option for SharePoint integrated mode because this is going to be a SharePoint service application that has to be configured within SharePoint Central Admin. And click install to load the software. Once the installation on the SQL side is complete, we can just close out these wizards. Go back to Central Admin. I'm going to just refresh my browser, which will reload the admin files back into memory and, and get me going. And then I will proceed from there to configure the reporting services integrated mode.